Overall, it's been a warm and humid summer, but it has not been a hot summer. We only had just a handful of 90 degree temperature days throughout the summer months. We had one in April, April, of course, but then uh, the majority of them came in July. But still, compared to last year, nowhere even close. However, we are starting to make up for it now that we're in September, and I can now change the one to a two because today we've officially hit 90, which makes 10 for the year compared to the average of 15. So we're closer to normal now, uh, but still nowhere near last year. So in the month of September, we can definitely still see some extreme temperatures. I mean, we've had triple digit heat in the past. It doesn't happen often. The last time was back in 1953, actually, and that's the only time. Uh, the latest 90 degree temperature in the month, though, goes all the way to September 30th, which is hard to imagine. But 1986, the high was 92, and there have not been any 90 degree days reported at Westover in the month of October. So we do have this heat advisory. It uh, does cover now all of Connecticut. The entire state is under it. Good portion of central and eastern Mass, northern Rhode Island, southern Connecticut, even going up into northern Vermont. They have this heat advisory up, which is very unusual for them. Now, we are expecting this to last now through Friday. It has been stretched another day. So both Thursday and Friday, the heat index approaching 100 degrees at times. Not for very long, but for a couple hours each afternoon and early evening. But then it disappears. Temperatures will drop significantly for the weekend, but rain chances will be on the rise. Dew points, unfortunately, do not move around really at all. We're going to keep that, you know, oppressive to tropical feel straight through the weekend and now into Monday. Tuesday, we'll start to get some relief, but it doesn't last for very long. Current temperatures up and down the East Coast back into the upper 90s, even 100 out toward Raleigh, 90 here in Springfield. The heat index is where it hurts. 94 currently uh, coming in from West Field at Barnes, 100 in D.C., 95 in Philadelphia. And again, this is going to continue tomorrow and possibly worse in a bit, and then it backs down a little bit more for Friday. Plenty of sunshine again for tomorrow, but there are some changes coming for tomorrow evening. So as we take a look at your 24, we have mostly clear skies for the rest of tonight. Temperatures dropping back into the 70s, very humid, of course. Then we continue through Thursday morning. We start off upper 60s. We warm fast with full sunshine. We're in the low 80s at 10 a.m., middle to upper 80s by the early afternoon. We should hit 90 pretty quickly uh, throughout the day, too. I would say our peak heating, 3, 4 o'clock, and then after that, there's a chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. This future cast model does not show much. Uh, it's very hit or miss. We, it may hold off until after the sun goes down. Only part of the area could get brushed, but it doesn't look like a good chance for rain. However, if any storms do manage to come through, there's definitely a decent shot they could become strong to severe. We actually have a slight severe weather risk across just about all of Western Mass. Uh, I would say the best chances would be in Berkshire County, but any storms that develop have the potential of producing isolated damaging wind gusts and hail. That threat will be there on Friday as well. It's a lower risk right now, but same time frame, late in the afternoon, early evening. Then our focus shifts to this approaching cold front, which brings a chance for a couple of showers later in the day on Saturday. It doesn't look like a washout, though, but the best shot will come during the afternoon. Same for Sunday, scattered showers and storms during the afternoon and evening. Cold front comes in and stalls, so showers continue on Monday as well as that very humid feel. Then Tuesday, we finally start to get a bit of a break. But by Wednesday, our next front comes in with more showers, and late in the week, we'll have to keep an eye on the tropics. Chris, back to you.